Oh, I see you up there. Cut it out, guys. I like you. I... I like you. <laughs> oh, that, that's so much fun. Is there more? There is. That was fucking fun. I want that. Headshot boost. Oh yeah. So this is to spin, grip, shatter, and pierce. Plus 143% headshot damage. Yes. For spin, eh? Mmm. I think I want that more than rate of fire. We're firing fast enough, I dare say. Like, maybe too fast. There's a lot of... Shit to check out here. And it's confusing because there's a lot of reflective surfaces. Got it. Secrets! So with all these reflective surfaces, it's kind of tough to tell what's where. <laughs> Neat design, though, eh? <laughs> One of these ones is blinking. Yeah, okay. Just looking around to see if I miss anything. <laughs> Someone call a plumber. I'm glad no one was around to hear that. Ha, <laughs> Jesse. Wait, am I being attacked? Dear House of Representatives. My husband, Francis, re read an article before he died about how the universe was really just a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago. A drunk driver. I don't think it was supposed to happen. 
My neighbor's son Jeremy broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he's a computer whiz. I think Jeremy is operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that, dri so that driver would hit Francis. Okay. He did to get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change the computer and make Francis come back? I have some money if it's expensive. I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets in trouble or not. I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I were very happy together. I can feel him not being here. Oh, man. It's fucking sad. I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie Miller. This feels like, um... Part of the dead letters? Okay. Oh, I see. I can't actually get there. Oh, God. Hold on. We got a damage boost thing. Instead of charge velocity boost. And I can't... Oh, I can equip it on this. Instead of spin grouping efficiency... Or we could... I think... I think this is good. We, may, we put damage on this. Because accuracy will work better with the headshot damage. Right? Oh, this watch is fine. <laughs> Not anymore! No, it's pooping! What? Okay. I don't know what I... Is that a bench? Oh! Oh, I can't... I can't deal with them! The Prime Directive has been broken. Okay, Je Jesse had a moment there. She's fine now. Evaluation hall and data entry and filing. So that, the cubicle area over there was data entry. What does it say for the mission? It didn't update. <sighs> we were there, and now we're here. Okay. Well, this isn't some side area, it's part of the, the main path to DLC. I wonder this area fucking collapsed. There's benches everywhere! By the way, I actually don't mind benches in real life. In case you're wondering if I have some kind of Uh, aversion to benches. I don't do that when I'm just walking around normally. I do telekinesis, though. Getting closer. I, 
think something big is going to happen here. There is a control point. Yes. Yes! Yes! There's no way there's someone in here. Oh! No, there's no way we could get under this. Fuck. I can't grab the bitch. No, no way we could. Oh, I'm just going to pretend like that bench doesn't exist. There's a lot of, uh, I was about to say, a lot of unnecessary rooms in this, but. You're listening to America Overnight, a beacon in the darkest bacon. of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set, a fountain, a blessed gift. Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on it. <laughs> it's molten hot, perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait. I think there's something else in the envelope. A fondue set. Some kind of black powder with white shards in it bone maybe karen what is this karen you're on the air karen where are you what what is this powder in the booth is this is this ash oh oh god karen how do i cut the commercial Jesus, that's that's dark. What is the implication there, though? Key of supplements. Same event that we heard about earlier. Recordings of the audio phenomena were uploaded onto the internet shortly after the event. These records circulated rapidly on popular message boards. The communications department utilized this exposure by creating sky trumpet hoax. Sky trumpet hoax videos and posting related theories to spread confusion and draw attention away from the event's paranatural origin. Industrial noise, particularly the sound of metal drilling, was found to be a widely accepted explanation. Theories about the sounds emanating from the Earth itself, known as seismic hum, emerged from the public itself and were encouraged by the Bureau to generate further misdirection and eventual public disinterest. Witnesses of the event were monitored discreetly afterwards. Observed symptoms were consistent with redacted deprivation but subsided after 12 to 15 days. I'm assuming sleep deprivation. The length of the symptoms directly correlated to the individual's proximity unsheltered to the supposed epicenter. One linked, although accidental, casualty can be listed. Planar friction on hearing aids. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so this allows us to go back through. Got the evaluation hall coming up. Shift account part two. Gibbs reporting in. It has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or incapable of helping us. Or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two shits about its own hardworking staff when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it slide thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me? 
Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path to the caves is always left open. But we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out the astral spike. Shit. One's been hounding us for days. John, Nikolai, and Sarah went to try and find a radio, but never came back. We think the spike got them. I think it's hunting us. Doug says spikes only exist in the astral plane. So what the fuck is it doing here? Can we get out of here? I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. <laughs> the fuck is the lawyer going to do? <laughs> Gonna be a spike, isn't there? Transit control. Warning. Altered item detected in transport bay. Access is prohibited for safety regulation 18.8. All right. Can I have just slowed up there? I want to check something. Secrets! <laughs> Classic Dark Souls secret. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. Hmm. Any descriptions here of what this might be? No? No documentation? Transit engine. We should just hit that button! It's just sitting there. It must be, it must be hit. No power. Typical. Mm. Well, now we can hear the lovely sis. Sis. Hiss. I should hire someone who built smaller machines. Yeah, that's massive. Okay, but how do I access those? Sector lobby C is locked. Like there's something blocking them, right? Uh, maybe I pop, maybe I throw them up. Now I need to find the power cubes. Hmm. I don't remember seeing any down below. Did I just miss something? one I, oh wait what were those here before i didn't fucking see them at all maybe i 
Oh, I might have I might have grabbed something from there and it let those loose. So now we can go into that room, presumably. Since there's no more danger. Material detected in area. Personnel may now safely enter. Have a bureau full day. Uh, uh. Is there one of those invisible? I want to kill them with this. Yeah. Gotcha, sucker. Oh god. Don't mess with the Jesse. Jesse locks. Luckful Jesse locks. Oh, we've already been up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, choke. Okay, we're not using that gun right now. That, but, okay, where do we go from here? Up there, I guess? Hmm. Either that or, okay, I see. I could jump up here. I'm so sorry. Did I do that? Oh, man. I smushed that lady. Transit access. Evaluation hall. Sector lobby C. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think this goes back. Shit. The power room. Couldn't I manipulate them to, to go away? I guess not. You can only pull them out, you can't put them back in. So what's down here? Transit access. Does this go to where the altered item went to? Properly trained. Guess I pass. I am very properly trained. 
Personnel not properly trained and altered item handling are restricted. Transit. Okay, let's do this. I think we're going to be dealing with this altered item now. I think this is supposed to be a loading screen. Like it's like hiding that it's loading the area. Oh, hi. I remember that camera. How the hell did it get out? Are they shooting movies now? <sighs> Nothing special? Jesse Faden starring in Swift Platform? After that camera and step on it. Cleanse the altered item. I think I need to go. I think I need to stay on this one. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? This is Alan Wake. <laughs> it's just fucking bizarre. Corny shit. Love fucking synth wave though, so I'm down for this. Oh, that one's okay. I thought they were next to each other still. Wait, we keep the fire? Okay, that's not out. That's not out. Physics works. That'll. Great. It's like we're in space where we maintain our momentum. There's fr there's 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 friction. We don't maintain a hundred percent of our momentum. Okay. Where is it? It's right next to me now. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know if I went the right way. Maybe it doesn't matter. for this guy? No one saw that. What? I have to restart the whole thing? Okay. This is where we ran into trouble. I think. the day. I think he uh, shot a rock at me as I was shooting my explosive bullets. <laughs> Fuck. Here we go. Focus, Luckless. Yes. You suck! Oh god, I suck. Come on! Yes! Yes! I want that. Okay, that was really easy. I just had to fucking focus. Oh god. Gonna kill myself! Yes! Suck it dry, Jesse! <laughs> Oh, they're gonna make that sound again, I promise. My eyes! Wait, what? We're back? Did that really just happen? It felt like a dream. Or maybe a bad movie. 